ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, I would just like to say that the Nostalgia Critic has returned! Yeah! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Because, of course, as we all know, Demo Reel wound up becoming a huge failure amongst uh, the Nostalgia Critic and Doug Walker. Demo Reel flopped so freaking hard. And you know, I know I made some videos, I did some reviews on his, his episodes, and I gave it praise, I had hope for it, I was wanting something better than I was expecting, I guess, as I guess many of you did too. And what I found was that Doug dropped the ball on the Demo Reel project, basically. Uh, and it came in the form of Disney Simber. If I can give you what I believe are the main reasons as to why Demo Reel flopped, it would be one Disney Simber. Why he decided that, you know, okay, the Nostalgia Critic was dead. I had always assumed that the Disney Simber stuff was always somehow linked to the Nostalgia Critic thing, you know what I mean? And that it was a review of sorts. Even though I knew it was Doug doing it, and it's his own personal taste or whatever. But, I could never understand why he chose to do it. And especially now, when Demo Reel seemed to be his primary focus, where he wanted it to go where he wanted his channel to go. And he decided, instead of focusing attention on the Demo Reel project, he instead moved on to this Disney Simber crap, and which forced him to only release two episodes in December. Now, after, what, like oh, two weeks worth of waiting, and then from December 4th, which was the release of... Uh, the first video in December, and then all the way up to December 24th. That's a full 20 days. 20 days of people losing interest, losing value in the product. That is reason number two. The fact that he took so long to actually get the episode out and put it out. And not only even that, it comes down to number three. The episodes weren't good. The bromance episode of Demo Reel was really confusing. Other than the, the very awesome cameo made by Eco Raptor, that was one of the most pointless episodes I had ever seen. It served no function other than just saying he was kind of sad about where he was in his life or something weird. I, I don't know. Like it was a, a midlife crisis of some sorts. Demo Reel was a failure for many, many reasons, but those are probably the big three that I think caused Demo Reel to completely die. He overshadowed it with the Dis Disney Simber. He didn't get the production and the effort that he had into his previous episodes, and they just weren't good. And the fans, of course, dropped off immediately, causing him to release the infamous video, the review must go on, which, if you have half a brain, if you do follow that guy with the glasses and you own To Boldly Flee, anybody, anyone, everyone should have seen that the plot, the plot hole, was going to be the means in which they killed off Donnie Dupree, killed I guess, to bring back and reestablish the nostalgia critic. Now in this video, he goes on to say that he he wants to bring Nostalgia Critic back, but he doesn't want to do it for the fans. Just because the fans are clamoring for it, that's not justification enough. He has to want it. And that may be well all fine and good, but the fact that he blatantly said, this isn't because of the fans, it's because of me, is one of the biggest, boldest lies that he could say with a straight face to us, the, the fans of that guy with the glasses. Of course he did it for the fans. He did it for the ad revenue. He did it because he wasn't making money. You don't create something for nothing, unless you're me. 
but he did he wasn't making demo reel for the love of a project he he did but he also was hoping okay the, the fans will get behind me they'll keep supporting me well they really turned their back on him and he said shit I gotta come up with something fast. I guess I just gotta go back to Nostalgia Critic. Now with this whole little rant aside and the way he he killed off Donnie Dupree, I thought it was kind of it was an ingenious way to, to really mold it back over to Nostalgia Critic. That's fine. That's all fine and dandy. I just don't like the way he presented it and saying that it was a choice amongst himself and not because people didn't care about the product anymore. They just stopped caring. They gave it a shot. It wasn't worth it. They moved on. And he took a hurting for it. But tonight, we have the return of the Nostalgia Critic, and he comes back with a bang, to be perfectly honest. He has a whole new opening intro that uh, looks really, really good. I love the theme. And he starts off with the Odd Life of Timothy Green, a film in which I've never seen, and it's about these two parents who can't, or these two people who can't have a kid because the woman is infertile, and so they decide to make up a kid and bury him in the backyard, and then he grows. It's a very fine uh, setup, but then Nostalgia Critic, of course, goes on to tear it apart. So, is the Nostalgia Critic is the return of the Nostalgia Critic, rather, worth the wait? Yes. Very emphatic, yes. The Nostalgia Critic is finally back, and he's back and funny again. It's something I felt was lacking in his, his starting to branch off. Scooby-Doo review, his final review, was not good. I didn't like it at all. It wasn't funny, it wasn't really all clever. I, there was nothing in it that gripped me. But for this, there was something magical about it. I don't know if it's just a nostalgia factor or it, or what, but it really resonated with me. I, I loved the comedy. I loved the fact that he incorporated both of the actors from Demo Reel into this production. That he hasn't completely cast them aside and said, you know what, guys, we had a good run, but I'm on my own again. He brought them in to the Nostalgia Critic, which is one of the greatest ideas he could have done. Hell, in all honesty, he's he should have done that a long time ago. There's only so much one man can do, and it's cool to have your cameos and your guest appearances and all that jazz, but to actually have a somewhat cast that now he can bring in and do these short little bits for to get a joke across. Genius! Genius! So, so good! It brought a whole new life into the Nostalgia Critic. The opening, the cast, the characters that, you know, whatever, the Nostalgia Critic himself, and the movie that he reviewed. It's a 32-minute film, and dear God, is it fucking amazing to see the Nostalgia Critic back. Doug, we, the That Guy With The Glasses fans, thank you. I do weep and mourn for your loss in Demo Reel, but it's great to see the revival of such a classic and the way that he came back so, so strong. And with that said, I want to thank you all for watching. Go on back over to that guy with the glasses. It's just like it, you know, it's like when Coke decided to change their flavor. People were pissed. Well, guess what? Classic Coke is back. Nostalgia Critic has returned. And fuck Clear Pepsi, because Pepsi is also back too. Guys, we got a whole fucking slew of things coming from him, and I know it's all going to be great because we finally, he's finally getting back to his roots, and he's finally getting back into the flow of things. Sure, it's going to be a two-week wait for the next episode, but I sincerely cannot wait to see what he's got up his sleeve. Especially since he's taken away all the restrictions, he's taken away all the, the dates, he can review anything from any time period at all. Look forward to it, guys. Remember, it's always better late than never. Thank you for joining me. 
I'm Lonnie. Have a good night.